Today, we will learn multiplication of fractions and whole numbers, the use of fraction as an operator of. Nisha makes good tea. To make one cup of tea, she adds two thirds teaspoons of sugar. How much sugar do you think she will need to make five cups of tea? Come on, think about it. In such situations, it becomes necessary to multiply fractions. Here, we need to multiply a whole number and a fraction. So, let's learn how to do this. Nisha uses two-thirds teaspoon of sugar for each cup of tea. This is a fraction. In this fraction, the numerator 2 is smaller than the denominator 3. Such a fraction is called a proper fraction. We have to find out how much sugar will be required for 5 cups of tea. 2 third teaspoon of sugar is required for 1 cup of tea. Then 5 cups of tea will require 2 thirds plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds. Here, we can see that 2 thirds has been added 5 times. This can also be expressed in multiplication as 5 multiplied by 2 third. This way, 2 thirds plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is equal to 5 multiplied by 2 thirds. Now, what do we observe here? The denominator of all the fractions are equal. Fractions that have the same denominator are called like fractions. What do you call fractions that do not have the same denominator, such as 3 fourth, 2 thirds, 6 seventh, etc.? You're right. Such fractions are called unlike fractions. Here, we are adding like fractions. To add like fractions, we add the numerators and keep the denominator the same. Thus, by adding 2 thirds 5 times, we will get 10 by 3. Hence, the result of 5 multiplied by 2 by 3 is 10 by 3, which means that Nisha will need 10 by 3 teaspoons of sugar to make 5 cups of tea. So, we can say that when we multiply a whole number and a fraction, we multiply the whole number by the numerator of the fraction. The denominator remains the same. Here, the numerator 10 is greater than the denominator 3. Such a fraction is called an improper fraction. In 10 by 3, 3 is a whole number and one third is part of a whole number. So, we can express 10 by 3 as 3 and 1 by 3. A fraction that is expressed as a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction is called a mixed fraction. If we have to multiply a mixed fraction by a whole number, how will we do it? Think about it. Let me explain it for you. For this, we will have to first convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction and then multiply its numerator by the whole number and keep the denominator the same. Fractions are also used in the form of the operator of. Let us understand this. There are six bananas here. Can you guess what will be two-third part of these six bananas? Think a bit. Okay, let me tell you. Here, we first have to divide six bananas into three groups and take out two of these three groups. Hence, we can say that two-third part of six bananas is four bananas. We can also express this as multiplication. Two-third part of six bananas is equal to two-third multiplied by six. One way to solve that is that first we can multiply the numerator two by six and then divide the result 12 by 3. This would give us the result 4. We can also solve this using another method. First, we divide 6 by the denominator 3 and then multiply the result 2 to the numerator 2. This also results in 4. Thus, fractions are used in the form of operator of. Today, we have learnt multiplication of fractions and whole numbers and the use of fraction as an operator of. In the next video, we will learn about multiplication of two fractions.